this tapping into phrase i don't get what you what you, what you mean by that what, do, what am i tapping into when i every story every person has a particular essence a frequency a feeling in place you are focusing on the superficiality and you're not allowing yourself to tap into that further essence it's that further essence that allows for true connection to occur without that it's just you're a pussy on the pedestal and i want to achieve it which is just ego and there's no uh substance that you're coming from and so you know for a woman who has substance she's not going to be attracted to that it's the same with your prospects if you aren't tapped into a very specific intention feeling place this is where i'm coming from and that's how you allow it to flow through you you have to connect with anchors i'm connecting with the anchor of mechanism i'm connecting with the anchor of this hook this angle i'm tapped in tuned into that energy that vibration that intention that's where i'm coming from if you just get into a conversation with somebody and you don't have an intention for why you're having that conversation they're not going to give you their attention you're wasting their time you have to come from a very specific intention place feeling place that's how you tap into the zone where two hours goes by 10 pages are down and you're like damn that was fun i'm gonna get up and smoke a joint yeah okay now that makes more sense of um tapping into like so i guess getting in the state you're intellectualizing you're not tapping into feeling if you're not tapping into feeling you're not tapping into the substance you're not tapping into that slippery creative slope you're swimming upstream and that's why it feels like oh right yep that has nothing to do with you as a writer that has to do with you as a human being your tendency is to be fooled by the obvious. You got to see BS the obvious. You can't see me, <laughs> not John Cena. You got to be willing to ask questions that take you beyond the apparent into that feeling place so that you can tap into that deeper feeling place. For instance, so I started working on this yesterday. I've been interviewing my friend, getting this what this product is actually framed and clear so we have 12 videos now framed and what we were looking for is that feeling place now what's another what's another way of saying feeling place as a copywriter of saying your entering, energy vibes you're entering what it's a flow flow state no not flow flow is not really feeling you're well, kind of it. and that's relevant you're tapping into the relevance of the conversation. Right. Which is a very emotional process, not an intellectual one. It's intellect that taps the emotion, but once you tap the emotion, that's where you stay. You get away from intellectualization. You can't intellectualize your copy. You will hate yourself. You will hate your career. You will hate your clients. Intellect is just the spark that gets us into the emotion, into those into the sea of emotional depths. And that's where we tap into the essence. It's like, do you even know how to tap into the essence of what it feels like to be Christian Leparco? Uh, no, not really. I'm not really into that, that type of, uh, you know, essence and energy. I'm more of, like you probably know this, but I'm more like literal and black and white type of person. And um, this exactly what we're talking about you can't do that if you want to be a fast writing effortless copywriter so all you're doing is telling me what you've ingrained and have the learned how to repetitively do congratulations you want to integrate that repetition that resistance into the ego of your identity hold on to that some bitch with all your might and let it block what you want or acknowledge this is not allowing me to become who i am and want to continue becoming 
You can't take who you are right now with you if fill in the blank. I want this. Well, you can't take who you are with you right now. I want that. Can't take who you are with you right now. What do you think that actually means? Is it just an abstract, woo-woo, philosophical thought? Absolutely not. It is entrepreneurship in motion. It is the speed in which you grow, the speed in which you change that allows for reality to reflect different circumstances. As you change, your circumstances change. Your circumstances don't change until you change. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. They will only and always reflect where you are right now. But I want that. Then let go of what's blocking it, of what's resisting it, of what's pushing it away. The story you just tried to tell me is, I want to do this, but this is how I do things. I want this, but this is how I do things. Hey, Mark, I want to do this. I want to become great at this, but this is how I do things. Does that make sense? Does that actually, you're a black and white, cerebral, intellectual person. That let's intellectualize the shit out of this. Does that actually make sense? That actually makes perfect sense how uh, you made it clear. Uh, and one of the first steps in accountability is not defending from an ego identity-based place what you think is who you are. Because what you think is who you are is the foundation for why you aren't achieving what you want. So when you let go of that story and you start tapping into what makes you able to achieve what you're talking about, when you're letting that go, because that is more important than who I think I am. That is more important than who I think I am. Identity lies. Identity is just one possibility of who we are. It's just a bunch of hormones and chemicals being triggered. And because we think the same thoughts, because we chronically think into belief, we chronically think into belief, then we say that's, this is reality. But it's all based from one construct of self. That is addiction. The only reason why you think you are who you are is because you are addicted to the predictable hormonal responses that come from what you do in life, how you show up in life. It's addiction. You're a drug addict. Christian Laparco is an identity-based addiction. Drug addiction. Mark Rochetti is too. From a, an intellectual standpoint, this is a, a, a piece of art. Oh, so you liked it? Yes. Okay, good. I, I was just, I wanted your opinion on, should, should anything be added? I love it. It's not practical. These are things that need to be back of hand because it's dynamic, because you can't show up as a, in a templated form and allow for authentic conversation to occur. Do you hear that? Right. So these are all things that is, just by taking the time to write this is fantastic because it is allowing you to ingrain these things into your psyche. Yeah, because that's where they need to be. They need to be, uh, uh, you know, like a, like tools on a tool belt. I'm just gonna take this one out. It's right there, ready to go. I'm gonna use this tool with this one. I'm gonna, but it all comes from tapping into energy. When I interview my clients, I don't have, you a know, checklist? maybe two minutes before I open that Zoom and I, you know, get on with them, I start thinking about the conversation a little bit but I'm not thinking about oh what am I gonna ask shit um I, I need to make sure I get everything so that I can write this I don't ever do that <laughs> no <laughs> like, that's like fun no because you told me this before that you don't like you says I don't have a list of questions I don't have anything so you just get on a conversation and get on zoom and talk to them and like to me like I couldn't comprehend that because I need I need something like this in my head I needed like, I needed this, like, you know, I saw a list of questions to ask them so I can get like the information I need from them. But you're like, no, no, it's just casual conversation. Like I'm talking to my, my buddy. <laughs> like it was, it was surprising. When you know you need certain elements, you know, like I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to get from questions like this. You're going to get very 
defensive answers, not defensive in a sense that they're trying to defend themselves or their, their stance, but they're actually wanting you to help them with that. You're kind of putting responsibilities onto them that is yours to ascertain. Otherwise, they wouldn't be hiring you. So the way that you ask these questions isn't, what are your prospects' biggest pain points? Like, name three of them. Well, hmm. You know, it's like you're not going to actually get the information you're looking for. If they knew that information, they would be in a, the results would be in a different place already. It's how you ask that to get to those problems. But they're not going to tell you those problems directly. You're going to get them in a roundabout way. Some basic answer. If you were going to go meet a friend at the bar and you had a bunch of questions about uh, something he's doing, are you going to bring like a notebook just full of templated questions? Or are you gonna, <laughs> like, here's brother. So tell me, like, tell me what you're doing. What, what, what exactly is going on? Like, what's your thought? How did you get here? And then conversation happens and then you ask the next question. Conversation happens. You, you ask the next question. And you have to follow your own intuition about what you know you need to connect with people you want to help. So these questions, it's not that, I mean, again, this is beautiful. I would love for you to share this in the group. I think there's a lot of gold in here. The problem is you can't use it as is. This is a great way to become aware, though. It's a process. You're intellectually processing. Now you need to ingrain it on the feeling level. What's the feeling level? where you can tap into a feeling and instantly that information just channels right out of you. Tap into a feeling instantly. This is flowing right out of me. When I did massage, people are on the table and let's say like their, their body was really just constricted. It's wound. It's, it's when muscle fibers are, are twined. And at the end of the session, their body was like, you know, before it was like this wide on the table. At the end, it's like this wide on the table. As you can see that there's a lot of space that's been created. So I'd ask the client, what does all this new space in your body feel like? And they would just start saying words, like symbols, right? Those symbols to them. And I'd say, so tap into that symbol. What does that symbol feel like? It feels like this. It feels like that. Okay, great. Now record that. Record that sensation. So when you're sitting in traffic, down in LA at three o'clock in the afternoon, you can imagine that symbol and your body's immediately gonna start feeling like that. You are the leader of your attention. You can create sensation anytime you want. We are usually reactive in our sensation. It's in response to outside stimulus that creates the internal stimulus. But the reality is it's the other way around. It's the internal stimulus that paints the story of the outside reality circumstances. And that, from an intellectual standpoint, feels weird, but all of this doesn't exist without this. So it's this that is the impetus for that. And that's, this is feeling. And that's what drives your attention. What is this feeling? Oh, hormones, chemicals, peptides. And they're being stimulated in direct response, like coffee, direct response, to the apparent but it's the apparent you're the, like oh the apparent is making me feel this way it's the exact opposite it's the way that i'm feeling that is painting the picture of the apparent and that's where we get really fucked up and that's why a lot of people never get beyond their current circumstances because they're dependent on the apparent to, to provide the stimulus for action so you can't be dependent on the apparent if you want to be that secret weapon that clients and partners drool having in their business to work with, to have at their beck and call, to be able to harness and leverage your genius in a way that makes everybody money. So in order for you to be that secret weapon, this is what you need to tap into. Enough of that. Let's get to your copy.